YouTube, how you guys doing, man? Before we get started with the video, can you guys hit that thumbs up? If you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned. Really quick, guys, if you guys are interested in joining the Patreon, we have our three tiers, our night tier for $10 a month, our king tier for $12 a month, and our help tier for $20 a month. For the night tier and the king tier, you get access to all the anti-recoil values in a form of a spreadsheet for the packs for the scripts that you see here. And you also get all my best aim assist values for all these scripts and packs, okay? All those values would be on the Patreon, and if you don't see anything, please message me. And for the help tier, we just get on a one-on-one -on -one call, or we can just message each other on the Patreon, or I'll send you my Discord. And I just help you understand everything about the Chrono Zen from the iceberg from the top to the bottom. When you need help setting up Amos's values or you need help setting up anti-recoil. Just anything you need help with related to the Chrono Zen, I got you guys, okay? But yes, feel free to join. Link in the description box. Back to the video, guys. In today's video, I was using the Cold War AK-47. I will have the class set up, up on the screen now. Oh, shot. I was also using the Scottish Tryhard script. If you guys don't know, this is like one of the best scripts to use right now. If you guys want my specific Amos's values, they will be posted on my Patreon. My Patreon link will be down in the description box, so go ahead and join. Go ahead and join. You'll get the best anti-recoil values and the stickiest Amos's values that I've ever had. Just a big thank you to everybody showing support. We're at 268 members on the Patreon. Thank you for everyone showing support on the YouTube channel, man. It's growing over time. But I would like to quickly just talk to you guys about something. A lot of people ask me, you know, hey, um, after using the Chrono Zen for a long time and playing without it, does it make you a better player? And I'm here to testify, and I'm going to say, in my opinion, yes. I do believe that the Chrono Zen makes you a better player without it later on. I feel like it's like a training wheels, you know. It's helping you aim over time, because a lot of people have bad aim. I mean, I was one of those players, and you can also see that in my gameplay, right? If you watch a video, if you watch any of my videos from six months ago to about eight months ago, you could tell the difference between how I play now and how I played it then, okay? A huge difference. It's like it's not even me playing. It's like I hired someone else to play. No, but it is me playing because I have live commentary, you know. But, yeah, I would say that it does help you train your aim so much. But this is the routine that I would do. I would just hop into a Vanguard custom game lobby. And if you don't have Vanguard, Modern Warfare works too. Or Plunder. And just over time, stop using the Zen, right? So in the beginning, just keep using it. Use the stickiest values you can. And then over time, just kind of stop using it. And you'll notice yourself become a way better player without it, okay? And over time, it does train your aim, and over time, you will feel like, you know, you're beaming kids without a Cronus, right? It's just, it just helps you train your aim. But yeah, to answer those questions for a lot of people asking me that, yes, I do believe that it does make you a better player over time. But other than that, I hope you guys do enjoy today's gameplay, man. I hope you guys do enjoy your great rest of your day. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay. It's your boy Zen King, and I'm out. Peace. Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on. UAV beginning flyover. One for me. I won't forget. Damn, then that guy's scared me. Gas is closing in. Enemy advanced UAV overhead. Be mindful. Enemy UAV 
I think we can clutch this up here. He's pushing you. He's got guys on him. He's pushing back towards you. Where are the guys in the building next to you, Jake? Enemy sees me! They might be pushing guys and they would have asked for it. I don't even know how to push this. Gas is moving in. New safe zone highlighted. There's still three teams there. Hostile dead. Tick. We're losing ground. Move it. We've got to go. Gas is coming. How do I clutch games here? Switch it to a desert scene. Often heard, but this motherfucker's oh, never seen.